are back here with episode 2 of Rachel's Blind Playthrough of Final Fantasy 7. Mm -hmm. We are here mm -hmm. in the sector, sector 7 slums. Do you remember what happened last time? Um, we blew up that... What was that thing? Mako Re reactor. Reactor, yeah. So why did you blow it up? Because it was sucking out the life of the city. To produce power. That, that's what... What did you name Barrett? Barbs. Okay, sure. It's easy to say. So these are the slums of Sector 7. This is, when you say slums, this is not really the high society, right? Yeah. So you are below the plate. Mm. You remember the structure of the, t the city? Yeah. Yeah. So if the whole plate blows up, you're gonna get squashed down here. What's huge? Yeah, yeah. So if you're blowing those things up... That's not the reactor, that's a tower. Oh, that's the one, ho one of the things that's holding it up? Sure. That looks... Flimsy. There are more pillars, like those concrete to the left and the right. Yeah, the concrete is better, but this one, what is it? Maybe it's not a pillar that supports it. Yeah, it's maybe it's like a communication yeah. communications tower. So, do you think it's a strange and wonderful place? Um, it's a sad place. Would you rather live above than below? Of course. Would you like to live somewhere that's about to, uh, what do you call that? Did you hear, Rachel? No, what? I wonder who did that. Ooh. <laughs> what does that mean? What if I just said, is the blank one an option or it was just No, a just two options. It's like a kid. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna disrupt technology up there. That's what terrorists do. Yeah, people get killed. The workers of the reactor, if any. <coughs> Would that be better? Sure. Painless death. Did you talk to the girl or the guy the jumping around <laughs> behind her? The, the guy jumping around is on top of things. You can check. There's is this Barb's? You can check the other houses if you want. Which house? Oh, this is just gonna make me feel. <laughs> Forget about it. Don't worry. What are you? So, I guess they don't know that. Jess sitting here. That your group is responsible for yeah. it, huh? What's that ampersand, asterisk? That's bad. Do I have to spell it out for you? I wonder how they're, because they're not opening up. So there's I gonna can't be really a go sure. What about there. that other door down there? Okay, fine. Which one? What about so it? There's a question because there's gonna be a Final Fantasy VII remake. How are they gonna do those expletives? Who's the dad? I'm sorry. There's a tiny girl there. Where? I'm not. There's a woman there. So Marlene is scared of you or shy of you? Look, she's taking a peekaboo. Is she also part of... Did you fight with barbs? Is she part of Avalanche? So is this a childhood friend, Rachel? Her Tifa. name is Tifa. Latifa, Queen Latifa, or Tiffany. It's gonna make it difficult. longer. What are you gonna name her? Queen Latifa. Big capital T or small T? What's Queen Latifa? It's small T? Yeah, small T. Uh, let's just name her Lala. What? Why? Like La La Land. Where did that come from, huh? L Tifa, Latifa, La La. Oh my goodness. 
another name butchered. So in it's, this game, it's a decent name. People have Lala names. In this game, you don't get to name the summoned creatures like the GFs and the Aeons. You name the uh, characters themselves. So it's way worse. That's a good name, Lala. Like Tinky Winky, Dipsy. Lala. Do you remember? You're oh. crazy, Rachel. Do you remember those three people down there? Yeah. You want a drink? Yeah, part of uh, of being successful. No, it's like brotherhood, camaraderie, brotherhood, whatever. For just for show, of course. So it's bigs like the sure. veteran. This is Wedge. Jesse's the girl. The this guy. That's Wedge, the bigger guy. Are you gonna be mean? No? I'm kind. If you know what I mean. Oh, is that the reason why he is fat? Because of. Are you Lala. allowed to say the word fat? Just kidding. So, is Lala's cooking good or bad? Mm, you can't really tell, but maybe. Well, he did bad. end up like that. And he's drinking, so alcohol makes sure, him fat. Sure, it worsens it. Too. Yeah. Maybe they have something in the food that makes it addicting. Marlene has no words for you, Rachel. Hey, look uh -oh. at that. Is that a pinball machine to your right? Yeah, this is a bar. I guess yeah, nothing, nothing you can then. do. What should we do here? What else can we do here? I we made know. friends, we talked to the... That's it, get out of here. Where's Barb's? Outside, right? Oh. There he is. Oh, they own the bar. Successful mission. Oh, that's so Secret cool. Secret elevator, Rachel. Well, Lala's not joining you, I guess. She's just. Hey, they left me. Handling the counter over there. Okay, but the little girl's joining us? What is Jesse doing? <clears throat> How would you know? Because you were from Soldier, right? But you don't know their day-to-day -day Yeah, but maybe operation. he's asking if you recognize anyone from those okay. that you fought. What is what is Jesse doing behind him? Oh, oh, there you go. Why is <laughs> he such a war freak? Is Marlene happy about that? <laughs> I didn't really see what she was doing. She's just waving her arms. Am I skinny? Oh, your payment, right? Is is Bar is Barb's laughing? What's he doing? I guess Shinra is like the government of sorts, huh? The okay. authority. You'll know more about them later. Did you see that? He doesn't care. Who is Barb's hurting now? The punching bag. Okay. She's handling money issues. What about Wedge? <laughs> Is that right, Rachel? What? He's a pal. Come on, talk to him. He'll listen. What about Jesse? Can you go to Jesse? Oh, it's a, a repeat. Can you stop it? No, he's trying to be. Maybe fun. it got him. Can Marlene talk? Man.
Jesse is down. Can you get to him? No? Okay, maybe not. No, there are chairs. Okay. Go up then, go back up. Oh, you're back uh. talking to Wedge. You left everybody downstairs. Let's just get money they owe the money they owe me. For Not free? For free. Is that relevant today, Rachel? Yeah. Everyone has to do something. Like what? You know, the little efforts, cumulative, tiny little things. It's got do. nothing to do with him. Oh. How do. Why does Final Fantasy always have to deal with childhood stuff? What's this promise? Are we gonna go back? No, mm -hmm. oh, this is present day, I think. Th that's your clothes right now, right? Maybe that's still a flashback. Oh, right. It seems like present day. But this is not the same area because you can't see the sky from here. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is a flashback. Obviously, you're a kid. And there's Lala. This one's the flashback. Yep. Because you changed your clothes. Yeah, but this location is not where you are right now. Because mm -hmm. you can see the sky. Hmm. Girls are lonely. Got a ponytail. Sephiroth. That's a name you'll, re you'll see a lot of in the future. So where am I now? What are you doing up there? Yeah, in the obituary. <laughs> so this is the promise she was talking about, Rachel. What do you think the promise is? There it is. So you're famous? How about you? Have you ever wanted to be a damsel in distress, Rachel? Is that a fantasy girls have to be rescued, to be in trouble and be rescued by a hero? Of course not. There was a shooting star. Oh, why did he climb back up? He didn't use the elevator? The left. Here's your money. That's not a lot. That's double. Uh oh. That's your napping music. So what can you say about those three characters, Rachel? Were you able to hear what that Barb said it was for Marlene schooling? No, it was a whisper. That's why there was oh. a... He was muttering. So you were ex-lovers? You, you were childhood Lala? friends. 
It's up to you to interpret. Is it like uh, Poppy Love, but then she ended up going with Barb? No, it's Barb's and the girl are not necessarily lovers. But they have a child, they, it, Marlene. They never mentioned that she was the mom, right? So they just took it out. Took it out. We'll see more later. So you're back in the basement. And alone. Look at those computers, huh? Is this a, why am I here? You slept here. That's why you had the sleeping music. Ah, uh, okay. And then I need something to investigate there. Uh oh, what are you gonna say, Rachel? Did you sleep I well? I didn't sleep next to her, right? Maybe you did. So what's what's your Brad answer? Flirt with her. She's joining you. So is Marlene gonna be forced into child labor? Just look, she's she bartending. Thinks, yeah. yeah, that's not right. Sector 5 this time, Rachel. You're gonna blow up another reactor. Okay, here we go, Rachel. Some systems. Maybe I'll handle this part. It's about equipping magic, basically. Just pick the second option, so we don't have to go through the tutorial. <laughs> you made Barb so mad, Rachel. We'll do that later, when, when there's a battle. You think she can handle the money? Yeah, maybe she's not as young as you think she is. So they want you to go. Wait, they want you to go to the weapon store down downstairs. I think it's a building to the right, or is that one? Sure, check it out. One of those houses. You can go in a sense. Uh, sure, that works also. There's an old man. It doesn't happen every day, so they're not earning every day. Of course not. This start. This is the slums, Rachel. Mm, that's okay. Maybe buy one Phoenix Town. Buy three. An antidote. Phoenix Town, maybe one. Do you want to buy some magic? You have one. Store? That's a cure magic. You currently have one. Oops, now you have two. One. You have no fire magic. Zero. You have one ice and one lightning equipped. So you don't have fire. And you're, you're out and of cash. And you're so poor. That's it. So how can you buy a new armor? Let's get out of here. Oh, maybe you can't afford the new armor now. The next house is the armor shop. That one. Nothing! Haha! <laughs> Talk to that guy. That's a shop owner. They're forced to buy. Is that cheesecake? Look, oh. that's pretty good. What you about assault gun? You can't buy everything. You can't buy that gun. So you want to buy defense, huh? Because that's the only thing you can afford. Okay, so you gotta be realistic with what you can buy. Who do you want to give the iron bangle to? Yourself. And you can only give it to two people. Lala. Sure. Because she has no experience yet, so maybe she's weak. She's the weakest one. Who do you want to give the cure magic to? Lala. You actually have two, so Lala and. The guy, Barbs, because he's I'm a stronger. Okay. I'm stronger than so him. So we're giving the fire to Lala. Okay. So you can see the effects, Rachel. Sorry, let me go back there. 
By equip and cure, your HP decreases by 2%. Okay. From, and then equipping fire will also decrease it. So from 284, it becomes 78. But your so MP like, increase. Yeah. It's like some compromise. Sure. Alright, here you go. That's it. You wanna check what's upstairs? No? No, I think it's just a bed. It's a free sleeping quarters, if you will. There's the whole crew. Where are they? You get... Did you enter that house? It was closed to you. Now it's open. Oi! There's a lady back there. And a toilet! Where did that? Where did they? Where did their son go, Rachel? Oh, where am I here? Toilet. Did their son Out die? No, maybe it's just. Okay. Who about that guy behind her? Who's that? That one. like you're off to sector 5 but maybe we'll leave for sector 5 next time Rachel what do you think sure so what can you say about the three captors in your party right now the Lala and Barb's yeah and yourself your relationship it's weird I thought they're together like they're married nope and that's where we're just we're just we have, but we have a. Are we like a, a pass? triangle? Will will we become like a triangle, or are we all platonic? Well, I don't think there's any hints that Barb's and Lala like each other. You know, in that way. Yeah, because when Barb's arrived, Lala just gave hey, Barb. him a hard, a high five. Yep. Didn't look that sweet. But what a, what you'll about? Never know. What about the promise? What can you say about that? Yeah, it's like. Intimate, they're sweet, so you think it's a one way or a two way street? Well, he allows himself to be dictated by that promise, so I know. Well, maybe you've changed, it's been the years, right? Yeah, I don't look like you're willing to give it all, or maybe you're just trying to act as if you're not you're that a tough willing guy. because you're taking the money. I'm okay. not really sure. We'll find out next time as we head to Sector 5 to blow up another reactor.